Hi, I'm Skyler. If you're trying to connect an iPad or iPod Touch or any iOS device to a Mac or PC and you get uh, some sort of message that says that the device is not recognized in iTunes via USB, there could be a number of reasons for that. First of all, USB 2.0 is required for iOS devices. So an iPod Classic or an iPod Shuffle could connect to an older computer with a USB 1 port, but an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad would not be able to do that. So just a hardware limitation. It has to be USB 2.0 or 3.0. Next, I go for the simplest things first. So take a look at your cable. Look at all the pins on your 30-pin cable. And very closely, check to make sure that none of them are bent or damaged or there's no obstruction in there such as lint on both sides. You know, look at it closely and see if that could be the problem. If you've got another cable nearby, test it out with that. Same goes for the port on the bottom of your iPad or iPod Touch, the 30-pin or dock connector. So check that out. If there's anything funny in there, see if you can clean it out and try it again. That may help, may actually solve the issue. If it doesn't, head over to support.apple.com and depending on if you're OS X or Windows, go to the following websites. So for OS X, it's support.apple.com slash kb slash ts1591. For Windows, it's support.apple.com slash kb slash ts1538. Now in both cases, one thing that can be an issue is the Apple mobile device service. We'll get to that a little bit later after you've tried a few things. First of all, update iTunes. That's probably the most important thing you can do. If you've got any system-wide software updates to run, do those too. After you've updated the software packages, restart your computer, plug the USB device in again, and see if it'll work. If it doesn't work, you've got a couple other options. So if you're running a Mac that's um, Snow Leopard or earlier, so 10.6.8, then reinstall the mobile, Apple mobile device service. After you do that, I would recommend restarting again and connecting it. Once you've done all those things, it'll probably fix it for the Mac. But let's go over to the PC side. So there are a few different things. So you want to verify that the Apple mobile device service is installed. If it isn't, install it. If it is installed, you can restart it. And there are steps to do that in this topic here. You also want to check for third-party software conflicts. And Apple gives you a detailed list of things to look for in case that's the issue. So armed with this knowledge in, say, about 15 or 20 minutes, you should be able to troubleshoot the issue. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.